Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and day one of GDC is proving to be a little slow to start. However, we got some great news in the meantime, there is a new Humble Bundle out. This one is the Humble Web Programming Bundle, it is very focused in what all it's about. But even if you're not that interested in um, web programming in general, there is a book at the $1 tier that is of quite use if you just want to learn JavaScript in general. So that's why we're covering this bundle, and at the same time, Humble is actually running a sale on some game development related software, so I thought I would cover that as well so you didn't miss that one I actually didn't get a notification of it so I had no idea it was happening but there are some game development software game maker face rig and so on that are currently on sale as well so we'll cover that as part of this as well so in case you don't know humble bundles are basically collections of stuff generally software books games that kind of thing um, and the way it works is you buy it at different tiers. You buy the top tier, so in this case, $15, you get everything at the two lower tiers included as well. You can pick how your money is directed. You can have some of it go to Humble, some of it go to the producer, some of it go to charity, and some of it go to support this channel, which if you do that, by the way, thank you very much. It's always appreciated. So what do we have in this particular bundle? Well, it is, again, the web programming bundle, and if you go in at the $1 tier, you get CSS, the definitive guide, using SVG, which is... Um, vector graphics, scalable vector graphics uh, with CSS and HTML5, learning React, uh, high performance images, and up and going, um, you don't know, JS. Now, I would have bought this bundle anyway. I always buy the bundle so you guys know what you get inside of it, but I would have bought this bundle for React alone. I am really out of date on my web technologies, and there are two technologies that are really taking over the world, React and Angular, and I am hugely out of date on both of them. So that book is useful to me. What I think would be useful to many of you, however, is this book, right here. It is part of a series where they're of um, escalating difficulty, basically. So this one is um, first book up and going, provides the necessary background for those of you with limited programming experience. By learning with building blocks of programming as well as JavaScript's core mechanisms, you will be prepared to dive into the other more in-depth books in the series. So that is an introduction to JavaScript book. And then if you're going to go up a tier, well, when you need your knowledge to go up a tier, there is a second tier there of ES6 and beyond. Um, that ES6 is ECMA script 6, which is the next version of JavaScript. Now, this is at the $8 tier. And once again, if you buy the $8 tier, you get everything at the $1 tier. Here you get Flask web development. I will be honest, I have no idea what Flask is all about. What's really kind of interesting there though, is that is a Python framework, not a JavaScript framework. So there is a little bit of Python stuff um, thrown in here. We've got Angular up and running. That is the other technology I need to catch myself up on. So I'm happy to see that there. CSS pocket reference, data visualization with Python and JavaScript, Vue.js up and running. And then as I mentioned there, that ES6 and beyond, which builds on the difficulty of the previous version. Now, what you've probably noticed at this point in time is these are all O'Reilly Press books. And in my humble opinion, that is a very good thing. Unlike, say, Pact, the quality from O'Reilly is very consistent. They actually hire editors and do good work. So um, you should expect good books here across the board. Another thing to note, is things like third edition. Generally, what you're getting in this is recent and current books. Um, this one's fifth edition, I believe. So you're going to want to check that as well. And we'll look at that in a second on Amazon so you can see where these books actually stand in terms of the value mark. But on the final tier, you get Learning JavaScript, which is one of the biggest books as an introduction to JavaScript, the highest recommended anyways, uh, designing web APIs, learning PHP, MySQL, and JavaScript, masculine, uh, mastering modular JavaScript, learning uh, GraphQL, which I have no idea what that is, to be honest, and scopes and closures, the third escalation in that um, escalating difficulty JavaScript series there. Uh, so if you're interested, the Amazon book of um, learning JavaScript, so to look up the third edition, it will cost you $24 USD on Amazon. So you get an idea that if you wanted any one book in this collection, it is cheaper than buying it individually. So that it, it is a good deal if any of this stuff appeals to you. So even if you're not really that interested in learning web programming, if you've got an intention of learning JavaScript or ECMA script, there is definitely still value here. Now I'm gonna mention onto that software sale I was talking about, oops, Still got that up. All right, so the software sale is up to 85% off various different pieces of software. I've got no idea when this actually runs to, but I will toss this, this store link um, below as well. And what you see here is there's a bunch of benchmarking software for like 85% off. So uh, 3D Mark, PC Mark, VR Mark. Um, so if you want to benchmark software, like it benchmark performance of different computers, etc., uh, those are there, but mostly just filler in this one. But the big ones we've got here are Artisty Draft 3, which is a cool program on... Um, kind of, it's unique actually, I've done a video on it on this channel, but it's about doing 
say dialogue trees in your game or prototyping how levels should work. It's one of the few game design tools out there. It's kind of like um, Microsoft Project or Microsoft Visio and Microsoft Access all kind of merged together, but optimized for games. There's also shims you can run so you can load your data that you created in Artisy Draft in say Unity. So for example, if you had branching dialogues, you can design that in Artisy Draft. Face Rig is a um, camera mapping software for recording facial rigs. Uh, so if you're working in 3D and you're doing some voice capture work and you got a camera, you can use Face Rig to capture it yourself. Um, ASC Sprite or a Sprite is one of the most popular pixel editors out there, period. And I don't think anyone's going to disagree with that. It's also DRM free and available for every platform that matters. Um, <coughs> sorry, Amiga users. So that one is definitely a popular one. Keep in mind the prices that you're seeing here are Canadian dollars because I'm a Canadian. Um, but this 25% off is pretty typical. Now you can still get a Sprite yourself if you build it from scratch, but if you want to buy it on the store, uh, you can do so here. By the way, these will all give you Steam keys for redemption. Uh, there's Black Ink, a painting package that I have very little experience with. And then a bunch of different versions of Game Maker exporters or platform versions for, uh, so you can see, uh, Creator for Windows is 20% off. Desktop, 20% off. Fire, this one is insane to me, but if you want to export to Amazon Fire devices, it's $160 Canadian. It's like Amazon Fire is just a version of Android. So don't, I don't get that one. So anyways, there is this package of software available as well. Uh, it's not like the bundles. It's literally just a store thing, but it's a bunch of game dev software that's on sale. So I figured I would show you that as well. Um, Head on back over here. This is, like I said, I purchased these bundles so you can see what you get. Now, a lot of times when you get these bundles, you get, you almost always get PDF for a book format. And then it's kind of a 50-50 split between EPUB and Mobi. So if you've got a Kindle device or if you've got a, God, I don't remember what the non-Kindles are called. But if you have Nook, ah, I got one. If you've got a, a, an e-reader of any sort, you're covered in this case. The nice thing about this being O'Reilly is every single book they've got here is in every single format. So you see right here, you've got uh, PDF, EPUB, and Mobi for every single book published as part of this. Now, if you have any specific questions about any of these books, please do let me know, and I will do my best to uh, answer your questions. I've, I've not read all of these. In fact, I've only really read... Um, an earlier version of learning JavaScript and I think web APIs. And so the rest of this is new to me as well. But if you have any specific questions about things that are covered, do let me know. Another thing to note is if you actually grab a book right here, you can get a PDF preview by clicking the question mark and jumping in. So you get an idea of what is covered by clicking there. Uh, so if you do want to know a little bit more, you can probably answer it yourself off of this page. So that is it. That is, um, I guess, a twofer. That's the Humble Web Programming Bundle plus the Humble... Uh, random game software on sale bundle, not bundle, just store. Um, hopefully that was interesting to at least a few of you and hopefully GDC gets really exciting and I start reporting some really cool news very, very soon. I've got my eyes peeled. Don't worry guys. I am looking for things to happen. They just haven't happened yet, but uh, Unity's keynote is tonight at six. So I'm expecting some kind of announcements out of that. So stay tuned to the channel. The next week should be a pretty busy one. And in the meantime, you've got some books you can read now. All right. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.